Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Galleria Acrylic Pad. This is my next review on uh, paper pads. It's the Windsor & Newton Galleria A4 canvas style acrylic pad. And I am hoping to be able to give this a good review. Um, and let's see how it goes. So, here we have the pad. First of all, it's got the his Royal Highness Prince of Wales stamp on it, so, you know, and that's because it's Windsor and Newton. Now, it says on it that uh, it's designed for use with all acrylic colours and mediums. So, I'm going to put it through some cheap ones to see if that works out, because, of course, cheap ones are, uh, are not as good quality as others, so that will probably put it through its paces. Um, it does have its canvas-like texture, and uh, that makes it feel like you're actually doing it on a on a canvas pad. So that's quite interesting. It's an interesting feel. Oh, by the way, on the brushes, I've never said this before. I'm using today uh, the Graduate Daler Rowney brushes, which, by the way, is an overwash on this one. And it's these brushes are actually extremely good. They wash off really well. Um, I haven't had any uh bits of brush uh sticking to it or whatever, uh sorry coming off it so i would say uh, i'd recommend these brushes i don't get sponsored by this company it's just i happen to like their brushes okay so i've got some fun there <laughs> right quite a lot actually on my phone just with so, uh, first thing I noticed is, unlike other papers I've used, you immediately can tell that this is not seeping through. It's not bending the page in any way, shape or form. It's a smooth finish. Um, I'm going to paint as much as I can out of this blob on this page. And then I'm going to mix the two together. Okay. So, let me wash this. It's just a smooth finish. I think also you could add some texture to this because it doesn't just seep into the page. So therefore you end up with these blobs and stuff. So that's quite nice for those who like to do textured paintings. Now here as we mix the blue with the uh, the reddish colour, um, we get a very smooth uh, purple, which is quite nice. That is extremely well Oh, look at that, look at the streaks. Isn't that great? I just like that kind of stuff. Look at that. So, yes, out of 10, and I know last time I did this, I, I gave up on the marks out of 10, but here we go again. Um, I am going to definitely give this a 10 out of 10 for the use of acrylics. Uh, it's the Windsor & Newton Galleria uh, acrylic pad. And from what I can tell, uh, from what I've got on the page, one thing I will say is that even though it's, um, I can't show it. Let me see if I can show it camera. Even though it's uh, designed, obviously, for acrylics, um, as with some paper, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no, maybe not. You can't see it very well on the camera. But it is actually bowing the whole paper. So, oh, well, I've done with the camera there. <laughs> um, it is actually bowing. So, um, that, that, that doesn't give it 10 out of 10 anymore. 
because um, I, I don't like bowed paper when I'm working. I like it to be flat. I like to be able to give someone a flat sheet of paper with the art design on. If it goes like this, it's not that great. Um, so let's give it 9.5 out of 10. The way it sits on the page is very nice. If you're doing it professional, remember you frame it so therefore they won't notice the bow. But even though um, it's uh, supposed to be for acrylics, it clearly bows the paper, which yeah, I, I have a pet, pet hate about. So um, I will be using it again in future videos for acrylics because I still think it works quite nicely. And obviously the colour blend looks really nice. So I think that it's definitely a pad worth getting. Um, professional, well, it, it's, your, it's your opinion really. But I, I really don't like giving someone a, a, a painting and, it, and the paper's bowed because of the paint. And this is only a little bit of paint on it. Imagine if I did the whole page. Okay, so that's my review. Um, let me know what you think. Write some comments and uh, likes, etc. So... Uh, so I can make appropriate videos for you. If you have anything you'd like me to paint for you, then please let me know um, and I can do a video um, of the painting or I can send you the painting, whatever you fancy, okay? So please let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me today on my channel and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos as they come up, please click subscribe. And if you'd like to like it and leave a comment on the video, that would be much appreciated and hope to see you again soon.